Hey Joe, it's folks here. In today's video, I want to show you a print-on-demand product that I think could be pretty cool to sell. If I didn't have so much of my own stuff going on, I may try to sell this product myself. In today's video, I will review a product sample so that way you guys can see the quality. We'll also take a look at a few print-on-demand suppliers that offer it. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I will give you some epic design ideas to use for this product. As always, if you get value out of the video, make sure to drop a like for good luck and if you want to see some of the other print on demand products that I am currently selling and recommending check out some of my other videos here on the channel and if you want to go through some step-by-step -step training check out my course there is a link down in the description the best part is it is completely free and will get you access to about 30 videos showing you how to open your print on demand store not too shabby right the product we're gonna look at today is a print on demand pair of pajamas I am wearing the top which is way too small for me right now and down here I have the pants the bottoms which I am wearing here are essentially the same exact fabric I said the bottoms didn't I I meant to say the tops are essentially the same exact fabric as the bottoms that I just showed you and when I said down here I didn't mean that I was wearing them I meant that I had them down here on the ground I want to show you guys the quality in a few minutes we'll take a look at the supplier that offers these and a few other suppliers as well that offer print-on-demand pajamas but first I wanted to show you guys just how nice these pajamas actually are. These are described as satin pajamas. They come with a top and a bottom so that way you can create a really cool unique one-of-a-kind item for your customers. Like I said they are described as satin pajamas so they do have a little bit of a silk feeling to them. I believe the actual material used is polyester and spandex which again we'll take a look at in a few minutes when we jump into the supplier but overall these pajamas feel feel like pajamas. They have a drawstring here, uh, an elastic waistband on the inside. They basically, you know, just have typical pajama interiors. It just basically kind of feels like the outside does. It's a little bit silky and overall these things uh, are, are pretty nice. I think overall your customers are going to be pretty pleased with them. I can't see any reason to believe that they wouldn't. In terms of the print quality, you can see on here that the detail is extraordinary. You can see everything very, very crisply and very clearly. And overall, like I said, I think these are a nice pair of pajamas. The supplier that you can get these pajamas from is called Subliminator. They are inside of the Shopify app store and they list these as women's satin pajamas. They also have them available in a men's set as well but for now we're going to look at the women's here. You can see like I said that they describe this as 95% polyester and 5% spandex. It has a soft satiny feel which is sort of what I was talking about earlier when I said they sort of feel like silk says it has high definition printing, design will never peel, flake, or crack. Essentially what that means is because of the way this is printed with a process called sublimination, you actually have the design printed into the fabric. There's no way to ever scratch this off. Typically with print on demand t-shirts uh, and various hoodie type of products, if you actually scratch the ink with your finger, uh, it will actually peel off. But that is not the case with products like this and lots of other products print-on-demand products. And like I said before, if you want to see some of the other print-on-demand products that I've reviewed here on the channel, make sure to check out some of my other videos. I think the biggest downfall of this product is the pricing. If you can see here, when selling this to the United States, you're going to be paying $52 for this pajama set, which means in order to actually profit on something like this, we're going to have to sell it upwards of like $75, which makes this a very expensive set of pajamas. But, like I said at the beginning, I'm going to show you some print-on-demand design ideas that may, in fact, be able to get you enough profit margin to be able to actually make a sale. Another print-on-demand supplier that has uh, pajamas is Printify. They're going to have a couple of different types here. You can see that these sets that they offer do not allow printing all over the entire product. Same thing here with the kids' pajama set. You're basically just going to be able to print right here, uh, just like a t-shirt. However, if you wanted to do... Uh, uh, just pants only you would have that option to be able to sell pajama pants if you wanted to be able to sell a short pajama set you could here which would be considerably cheaper than the long pant option and long sleeve option from subliminator you can see this one here is only $20.69 uh, 
with a short sleeve and shorts. Compared that uh, to our subliminated version here at 52, which is long sleeve shirt and long pants. Regardless though, like I said, this product here is from Subliminator and overall I think it is very high quality. The printing on it looks fantastic and the feel of it is also something that I think is quite nice. The biggest key here is obviously trying to create a unique design that people will actually pay a decent amount for and that's what we're going to jump into now. But before we do, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Is this product something that you actually think you could sell? And if not, let me know as well. Do you think it's too expensive and it might be too difficult for you to even make sales, even with some of the ideas that I'm about to go through? So here's our first idea. This store here, they take faces of dogs and put them on blankets, and they sell the blankets for $60. Obviously with our pajamas, we're gonna have to sell them more than $60 because we are paying $52 for them. But these are pajamas. It's a top and a bottom, it could be a little bit more useful than a blanket and you might be able to charge more. Business idea number one is to basically do the same exact thing that this store is doing here where they're taking a blanket and putting a print on it, whether it's dog bones, paws, uh, flowers, snowflakes, or even just a solid color, and then taking photos of people's dogs and placing them on the blankets. One of the ways that this store is getting a little bit more money out of the sale is by offering to put multiple dog faces on here. So you could do the same thing with the pajamas. You could offer people the difference to be able to choose just one face, two faces, or three faces on their pajama set. You could also do the same thing by creating a really silly gag gift idea where a husband or a boyfriend could buy the pajamas for their wife or vice versa because Subliminator does have a men's set where the wife could buy them for the husband and they could put their own face on the pajama. Essentially something just like this except it would be with the face of their spouse all over the entire pajama. You can see some examples of that here. Now another option would be something that would blend somebody's job with something else. And what I'm thinking is basically taking any job, I'm talking about things like a teacher, a nurse, a police officer, or whatever, and blending it with a holiday that is near when you are trying to make the sale. So for example, let's say that it was March and and we were selling products that were going to be mixed with St. Patrick's Day as the holiday. What we could do is we could create a design on these pajamas that had things like shamrocks and pots of gold and green colors and things like that. And then also incorporate into the design various elements that relate to a specific job. And an example of that would be something like this here. This is obviously a t-shirt, but this is a St. Patrick's Day t-shirt for people that are nervous. Versus. You could basically do the same thing with these pajamas. You could sell Halloween themed ones or 4th of July or Christmas and then you could blend them with tons of other jobs and professions and various activities and hobbies that people have to create a really cool pair of pajamas that people could buy seasonally based on what was happening with the holiday scene. I think that could be another cool way to actually create something unique where you're taking a holiday and blending something that someone loves such as their job or an activity that they have together to be able to create a unique design. Regardless though, like I said, you're going to have to come up with something that's going to be cool enough to justify the high cost. If you're just doing something like what I'm wearing right now, which basically just says good night and sweet dreams and has like sleep masks on it and, and moons, like there's really no niche here, right? This is just a funny pair of pajamas that has a sleep related design on it. In order to actually sell something like this, you're probably going to need to do a little bit extra work in terms of researching a great niche and coming up with a great design that that niche would love. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Is this product awesome or is it a bust? Let me know your thoughts. Personally, I think it's super high quality and with the right design, I think it could be something that turns into a really cool print on demand store, but that is going to be something that I'm also going to be asking you. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.